Hi everyone, this is Louise from 805 Soap. I hope everybody's been doing good. Um, today I have a haul from a friend of mine. Her name is Kim and she's from Alamo Candelaria. And I just wanted to tell you that her website is up and I was really excited, very excited that she's gotten it up and running. And I mean, her soaps are awesome. If you've ever seen Kim do a video, um, on YouTube you cannot believe it she's just so creative I, I love her for her creativeness anyways today I'm just gonna do a really short haul for you guys on this and I bought quite a few soaps from her because I love buying other soapers stuff and um, right away let's let's get into this because I'm gonna open them I'm so excited this one is called blush and it's got all of the ingredients on the back. If you can see that, she stamps it all on there. Um, her logo is got a, it's like a wax on here. And I'm trying not to break it, but I'm probably gonna have to. And just to get it off, what I'm gonna do is cut the paper on this one side. So I just cut the paper off and did it and they're wrapped in some nice paper and it's got her logo all over it. I hope everybody's been doing good. I haven't been on YouTube, but I'm gonna be back. And look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, let me smell it. Mmm, it smells wonderful. I love this. This is so pretty. And like I said, her website is up. I've used Kim's soaps before in a swap, so I know that they're wonderful. Um, her, her designs are just unbelievable. I mean, to me, they're, they're just so creative. I love her mind. And again, her packaging is just so pretty. This one is called Earthly Delights. And probably you've seen her make these on YouTube. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Oh my gosh, yes. That is just gorgeous. This one is called Bella Bohemia. And again, she's got all the flowers in there and just a beautiful soap. I mean, honestly, they are so pretty. Mm. Kim was also very generous with her samples. I mean, she gave me a really nice, chunky sample. Um, this one, I believe, is one of the honey ones. And you got to see the size of this. I mean, the sample is huge. People sell these size, and she's giving it away as a sample. I mean, that was just so generous. I mean, I, I'm just tickled. I did buy a lot. I'm not going to say I didn't. I spent, a, you know, quite a bit of money, but I don't know if she'll give you samples. This one is packaged in a different kind of packaging. So, and I like it. It's got all of the um, ingredients and everything on the back. And this one is called Herbs de, de Provence. And this one I saw her make. And if you've ever used Herbs of de Provence, I use it for cooking. There's a, a one that's, it's not called that, but it's made with lavenders and it's used for cooking. And I just love it. So I'm anxious to see what this one smells like. Mmm, very nice. Look at that flower. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Good size bar too. I mean, this bar is huge. Um, if you can see that. Nice size bar, very nice. I bet you these bars weigh in at about six ounces. They, they can't be less than six ounces. And you know, for the amount of work that she does on them, they're very reasonable. 
again, there's the packaging. This one is called Pepperberry. And I've never really smelled Pepperberry. So, I live in California, and Kim is in, I believe it's in San Antonio, Texas. And our scents are different of where we live and what we do, I think, a lot of us. But, I mean, I just love her scents. Oh, how pretty. Oh, look at that. The little berries on the top. How beautiful is that? It's it's really simple and elegant. I love that. So, if you haven't seen um, Kim, I'm going to put her website link down below. She has her, uh, her stores open. And this one is called Heart's Desire. And this is the one that I wanted to buy so bad. Because I saw her make this heart on the inside of it. And Amy Warden wanted to reduplicate it and it's very difficult to do oh yeah that is beautiful all of her soaps a lot of them have a, a musky background with to me is like an earthy scent i was a child of um the 50s 60s and 70s you know and um these smells to me or these scents to me are very familiar of my childhood um, when I was a young teenager. Um, I also got a sample in a beautiful little bag with her um, logo on it. And this one is called Gallo Glass. Mm. And again, very earthy and warm. Um, they're just, the scents are just unbelievable. Anyways, thank you, Kim, so much for getting me my stuff on time and delivering it. I, it, it was great. Fast service. I love it. Um, if you haven't been over there, again, I would head over to Kim's place before she sold out, which she probably will be um, soon. But there was one other special thing that she sent me, and that was the salted, I want to say it, Lacu Lollipop. Well, I would show you the lollipop, but I can't because I ate it. <laughs> and it was delicious. I mean, it was so tasty. All I have left is the stick, okay? So I did ask, I did write her a little note and say, you know, it, 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 I really appreciate the lollipop, but it, can I get any more? Um, this thing was salty and sweet at the same time. And I love those two things together. I love to eat something salty and sweet. As a kid, I remember eating popcorn and milk duds. Um, it was just something that, you know, I think you crave. So I would head over to uh, Alamo. And maybe if you're lucky enough, she'll throw one of these in your bag when you purchase something. Because this is just a treat, an awesome treat. And... Thank you, Kim, for sharing this with me. Um, this was just a, a, an unbelievable treat, but I think the biggest one is the soaps. And again, Kim from Alamo is, her website's open, and you can head over there and purchase them. Like I said, they're big, huge, nice, chunky bars. So I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing better, and um, I wanna thank everybody for um, responding to my video. And uh, hopefully I'll be making another video soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye.